so the next model is a incremental model so it means it is also a software development life cycle model so it delivers the uh, software in increment manner so why we deliver the software in increments means that there are many situation in which initial software requirements are reasonably well defined but overall scope of the development efforts a purely linear process okay like waterfall and uh, b model okay so in addition there may be a compelling need to provide a limited set of software functionality to user quickly and then refine and expand on the functionality in later software releases in such case you can choose a process model that is designed to produce the software in increments that is a incremental model so rather than delivering the system as a single delivery that is a whole delivery of the full application software we deliver the uh, develop uh, deliver the software in increments increments okay so that is increment manner that is a increment model so here user requirements are prioritized that is high priority requirements include in early increments once the development of increment is started the requirements are frozen through requirements for later increments can continue to evolve okay so increment models combines elements of linear and parallel process flow okay linear mean it is in a sequence flow and also execute concurrent stages of the concurrent stages of the software development okay so this is the uh, increment model uh, depict the uh, diagram for the increment model okay so here we have a uh, some five set of activities communication planning modeling construction deployment so we release a software in increment manner so first the increment of the delivery second uh, increment third uh, to the nth increment okay it extend up to the nth increment based on the software development okay so increment model has the same phase that are in the waterfall model but it is an iterative in nature Okay. So increment model has the following phase that is a communication for planning, modeling, construction, deployment. Okay. So the first increment is called the crude product. Okay. In this release, the basic requirements are implemented, and then subsequent increment, new requirements are added in the upcoming increments. Okay. Okay. This is the incremental model. Okay. In addition, it it have a lot of incremental releases in the software development. Okay. so this is the increment model why why we choose the increment model is when requirements are reasonably well defined when overall scope of the development effort such as a purely linear effort when limited set of software functionality are needed quickly so this is the this 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 following uh, categories to choose the increment model okay so wh- what is the use of the increment model is so if increment model can be adopted when there is a less number of people involved in the project so this is the main merits of the increment model and also technical tricks are managed with the each increment so for each increment we have to easily remove the risk okay this is the merits of the increment model okay so next what are the advantage and disadvantage of the increment model so advantage means uh, errors are easily to be recognized easier to test and debug more flexible because why it is easier to uh, test and bug, debug is so it consists of a, a small a small amount of the development in each increment okay so not only fully check the uh, full development software we develop, we check the model bond increment 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 models okay so simple to manage it is because handle during its iteration so this is the advantage of the increment model and also the client gets important functionality early so the client be the important functionality in the increment model so disadvantage is we must need for the good planning we have achieved the high cost because it it develop the software in increment manner so it it definitely takes the more amount of cost so we have to define the model interface are needed okay so we have to interface the each increment of the development software so these are the disadvantage of the increment model okay